We'd like to welcome you to BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news where we uncover the truth. On Thursday, December the 16th, a number of area businesses are coming together to have a joint holiday celebration, and we're going to honor a number of women, including this wonderful lady here, Debbie Taylor. How are you? Oh, fine. Are you, Donnie? Good, good. How does it feel to be one of our honorees for Mayor C. Boku? Uh. I am just so honored, and from day one when you asked me to be a part of the festivities, I, it's just been on my mind almost 24-7, just being so humble and realizing I've been chosen, and you could have just as well chose someone else, and I'm grateful. Well, Debbie, you haven't been on the scene uh, like you used to in terms of your networking events. Tell us about what you uh, used to do in terms of those events all over town at the Urban League and other places. Well, Donnie, actually, you know, I used to be an executive at the May Corporation. People know it as the Heck Company for 14 years. And then God blessed me in my 14th year to, it was time to let it go. And he had birthed People on the Move Network in Inc. Uh, probably six months before he released me from working for someone else. Deb, on, on average, how many people would come out to that event? Oh, my Lord. I was just looking at the pictures the other day. Um, I saw a crowd of at least 200 people um, that pulled down one event, uh, Ed Hartwell. I mean, we pack the house. And I clearly remember that event. It's who do you see when you look in the mirror? Who's looking back at you? And that was a marvelous event. And that was just one of many, many. I, I did it for three years straight. Three years. Coming right out of retirement. I mean, coming right out of working for someone else and doing my own thing. You know, grace be to God had blessed me. And funding it clearly out of my own pocket. So what do you do nowadays? Nowadays, we're doing this credit repair uh, because... Just as people on the move represent giving back, you know, how can one even take a step every day without knowing you have helped someone with a phone number, with a, uh, a, a walk across the street, or pull you into an event that changed your whole life. So credit repair um, is basically a four-month credit repair, and it's just helping people to restore their credit everybody re deserves a second chance we're going to make boo-boos until we go home to glory that until one, then. On, on several occasions you've shared with me your experiences growing up uh, we haven't talked with you in a while but for those who may not know your story uh, share a bit uh, well um, I'm a foster child and I was very very blessed to be placed in one home throughout my entire life. And that's uncommon, right? Very uncommon. And I came into Mr. and Mrs. Cheney's home at the age of eight months old. So it wasn't until almost 12 years old I realized that they were not my natural parents. But as time went on and growing and maturing, I realized that you don't have to birth, uh, have a baby, so to speak, and be that claim to be that mar that parent you know um, my parents who raised me I know to the world they're known as foster parents but to me they are my natural parents that I can call mom mom mommy or daddy my natural parents who I do know of you know I call them mr. or miss you know that so. what, what's the shot of hope for the entrepreneur out here it's a big shot. It's just you have to be patient. Don't be so busy to get in uh, business. D you know, take more time to learn the natural steps in the career that you are trying to go towards. You're calling you, you mean? know. Don't be so anxious to get in business. Be more anxious to be able to stay in business. And for you to be able to stay in business, you have to take the natural steps and don't make small of little accomplishments. Because that is what will plateau you later on to the next level. You got some people to start a business. A lot of times they say you don't gross any money until your first five years. That's not always true with everybody. I know people that gross you know, thousands of dollars in their first three months of starting their business. If you're only going to get out of it what you put in it. If you have givers and takers in the world, where do you fall? I fall right into being a giver. I always, always believe.
believe in giving. And don't worry about that person giving back to you later. That might not be the person God assigned to give back to you. But what you're sowing, your harvest got to come in. So if you reap in selfishness, then your harvest, harvest shall be um, selfishness. selfishness. You know, but if you reap and, and if you sow on good soil, you know, you see a need, you step out. Everybody don't have to know about what you're doing. It's a lot of things I do. You know, just incidentally, the other day, my daughter and I had taken two grocery bags down to B. Gaddy's, you know, and I heard her later on chatting with one of her girlfriends to encourage her to go get one of the angels off the tree at Security Mall and, you know, to buy for one of those families. It's all about giving back. What's the, what's the shot of hope to the woman in business, the woman entrepreneur, the woman business professional, particularly in a quote-unquote man's world? Well, Donnie, you know when I first started People on the Move Network and having all these events, I had more men on my panel of speakers than women. Not that I didn't want the women. The women were shying back. This is not the time for that. This is 2010, get ready to be 2011. You know, barefoot and pregnant is not what's in. You know, anything that's worth having, you got to get out and strive and scratch and cry to get it. It is not about waiting for someone to give you. Always remember this. Anything that somebody choose to do or give you, it should serve as an extra for what you should be already doing for your own self. Mm -hmm. what's, your, uh, what's your shot of faith? I know you're a holy roller. <laughs> Come on, share. I'm share, not perfect. Share, share a word from the good Lord mm. that keeps you going. What what what, what type of uh, mm. scripture keeps you going on a daily? And we're not advocating so religion per se, but right, I know I it's that. I know it's so dear to your heart, mm. and you live it uh, mm. every day since I've met you uh, years ago. John three sixteen. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Whoever so believe in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. And Donnie, if I just keep that before me every day that I, that I think of it, you know, then I can just um, maybe just get a little closer in my relationship with God at the same time going to a whole new dimen dimension and learning who he is and what is it that he requires of me with this life of mine that he has entrusted me with for such a time as this. Good deal. How can people get in touch with you, Deb Taylor? Oh, 410-916-9919. You've had that number for a long time. A long time. And I tell you, Donnie, I have people from, as you say, back in the day, three, four years ago when I started People on the Move Networking, still calling that number till this day, going and have me thumbing through my uh, reference book that I acquired all those years and doing People on the Move Networking. Good deal. We'll see you on December the 16th. Thank you, and yes, I will be there. Good deal. Keep watching BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news, where we uncover the truth.